falls late. I'm already mad. Top water looks like it's freaking moving. Are you kidding me? Yo! Yes! 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 Yup, 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 yup. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Burley Fishing. I'm here with my guy, Paul. What's up? And we're gonna go top water fishing today. We have the Monster Bass box from August. It's the top water box. And you know what that means. Everything in there is top water based, except two things. <laughs> <laughs> Six of those baits are top water baits, and we're gonna be fishing them today. This is an on the water review. So, my goal with these for you guys is to show you how these things work. Hey man, I'm trying to do an intro here. Why are you being so loud? I'm trying to get set up, so <laughs> trying to get on the freaking water, dude. <laughs> oh man, yo, the goal with these videos, you guys, is I want to show you how these baits work. I want to test them on the water. I want to see if I like them. I want to know if I can recommend them to you. I want to do these with all the boxes that we get for the month. I think this would be helpful. You guys, let me know. Drop me a line in the comments. Let me know if this is something that you guys like. If you want me to do more of. You know, let's just have some fun with it. Kind of like skipping out of the slam situation. But well, we are I, fishing. We're fishing every single bait. We're fishing every single bait. So a slam is now secondary though. Like I don't want to make it the primary fixture focus of this video. I think it's more important that you guys see the quality level of these baits. Are they good? Are they bad? Do they catch fish? What's the action like? Even if we don't catch fish today, should be able to tell you if it's worth getting this box. Am I right? Even fishing the line that is fluoro for top water. We've got it. <laughs> so we did get two uh, sort of rando baits in this box. We got three uh, three pack of EWGs that are four aught. They don't fit the frogs, the finesse frogs that we got. A little they, big. A little big, a little, a little big, big for that. So we downsized. We got a, a shorter one aught EWG for the frogs we're going to throw today. And then we got some fluoro line. Not something you typically throw with top water, but... I like the line, but... I mean, it, it's, here's the deal though. It's the boring stuff it's that so can true. be very important. I mentioned this in a few of the boxes I've gotten recently, but you know, you need hooks, man. You need line. You're gonna need it at some point. Like You're gonna need nice that. Line. This is nice line. It is nice line. It's good fluoro. It's not something we're gonna use as a leader really for anything for top water right now today. But uh, if, if we end up crashing through these baits and we fish it, well, it, it happens, right? <laughs> At any rate, if you like the content, be sure to subscribe, smash the like button on this video, ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more videos, and stay tuned for the end of the month when we do a giveaway, and we'll be featuring all these boxes again, bringing them back for the big old review and a big old reveal for that giveaway. So stay tuned. Hey, let's get on the water. Let's catch some fish. All right, folks, we out here. We got some, we got some top water movement. I'm gonna start with this buzz, and uh, I'm gonna drop my rudder so I can actually, I don't know, maybe steer. I'll tell you a little secret. Make sure your line isn't twisted. And you pull it out of your rod holder, because uh, when you make your first cast, I just lost the second one. Wow. How? There was no line twist. I checked it this time. Are you kidding me? What on God's green earth has just happened? All right, guys. Well, that happened twice in a row. Instant regret. What the frick? I got no words, man. I'll just be like, Rick, I never got any of those buzz baits. Rick, tell me more about this buzz bait I never got. I mean, if we want to go magnet fishing, we could recruit some uh, some new lures. I, I'm just, oh man, I'm baffled. So I can't give you a review on the Excite bait because I've never actually run it. One, one bait down, one bait down. All right, so we got the Bass Hick Popper here. I'll test this baby out. Do have a lot of top water action going on with some gillies right now. Okay, so that thing casts like a freaking mile. So 
something like this, we're gonna give it a little pop pop, let it splash some water. It's got some good action. Right now I'm just trying to put it over these weeds. Dude, this thing will cast forever. It's absurd. It's called a Big Anthony 2.5. It's a good like slashing action in the water. Give it a little pop, pop, pop. We also got this Booyah Toad Runner. This thing will chop that slop. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh. It pulls through the slop really well. All right, we're gonna go over this open patch here. Easy cast. Goes through the slop. I'm gonna stay more subtle. See if just reeling works. Real pause. One over by this table, maybe. Yo, 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 yo. Got him. Got him. Yes. 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 First bass on that booyah. Barely, barely got him. Are you joking me right now? Yo. Frog City. Frog, frog city, bitch. Check this guy out. Dude, big head for a little guy. That's awesome. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Let's get him a good release. Oh, that was sick. That was sick. Look at the slop. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the booyah. One bait down, boys. Oh man. If ever there was an easy bait. So when I rig these, you can see this little popping nose that is kind of on here. I like to rig it underneath the chin and I like to keep I like to keep the chin up. I mean, this is buoyant plastic, so it is gonna ride up on its own. Um, I use a nice light wire hook. You can see how it's gonna ride through there. I don't like to use a big four-aught. I like to use a light wire hook because it's not gonna drag this bait down. Um, this is enough weight on a spinning setup, on a medium spinning setup to like do its own thing. So when I hook it, just barely, just barely. Because this last tag, this thing ain't coming off. Look at that. Weedless, you can skin hook it if you need to. But it's gonna ride right in there and I mean just barely in there but that's gonna hold and then now when I pull this thing and pop it this is staying up above the water look at those legs work their magic speed is when you're getting those little legs twiddling got one got one there we go pretty quick flip it into that cover look at that it rides right up just like what you want to see that's the deal with the, the setup that uh, this particular setup. Come on, baby. Not a monster, but a bass nonetheless. There you go. There's your fish. See you, buddy. Bye. And then look what happens here with your with your plastic. It rides right up when you get the hook set. Really like the look of this frog. Let's see how let's see how she fishes. Oh my god, that thing casts so well. It's one of those like tapered nose frogs. So as you pop it through the water, you can see the white belly popping up. A little splash. Pop, pop, pause. It's a frog trying to escape. I think these arms on the side of it keep it really stable. Good shape. I like the plastic on it too. I just wanted to get out of that spot because there's like five campers. <laughs> And, uh, do you know how hard it was not to scream when I got that frog? I was like, hell yeah! <laughs> Yay! Check it. Here we go. This will be the bite. Prep position. Frog setting position. Ready, aim, fire! Just had a pop. He's following it? Something blew up behind it twice. 
Oh my God. Oh my God. I almost broke two of my rods. Oh my God. <laughs> Something followed it. Blew up on it three times. Three times. And then I set the hook like it was cursed. Oh my gosh. Paul's hitting the open water. He's probably doing the body baits, letting me do the frog. That's fine. Divide and conquer. Rock this box out, huh? Huh? Yep, 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 yep. Got him. In the boat, in the boat, in the boat. Done. Woo! <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hendrix Frog. Dude, did I freaking call it? Did I freaking call it? <laughs> oh my God, dude. Not a bad little chunker. Look at this little one and a half pounder. Not a bad little chunker. I'll take that any freaking day of the week froggy is free all right let's get a release on this beautiful bass oh, frogs are done frogs are done you know what though i'm gonna put that uh the toad runner back on because kind of like it better for the water we're fishing right now Oh no, he punched the hook right into its butthole. Yo guys, that's not ideal. Dude, I don't care if I catch anything else today. Two frog fish, I'll take that any day over uh, nothing. All right, so we're just doing like steady retrieve with this bad girl. Let's see what happens. It's the nice thing about that toad runner is like, it's basically a booyah pad crasher with a little wider face and then that prop tail. That prop, a little boot, a boot coming off the back just looks sick. Yo, yes, yes, yes. Get in the boat, baby. Woo. Tungsten, <laughs> but it's a frog. Booyah, baits. Oh my gosh, little guy. Double hooked him. Did it right that time. That toad runner. That toad runner, my dudes. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yes, 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 yes. I told you, I think this toad runner is really the play today. Just for where we're at. I'm going to keep it tied on for a while. Dude, you can't beat a frog in day. Am I right? Hit me in the comments. Can you beat a frog in day? Give me one bait. You guys like catching fish on more than the frog. Don't say the spider, because it's a frog and it counts the same. Yo, like once you start getting that frog bite though, do you guys get that like itchy trigger finger feeling? <laughs> You, every time you cast it out, you're like, there's going to be a tank. Green and gold or green pump? Green and gold. Look at that. The bruiser. Oh. This actually came in a monster bass box. <laughs> it's a monster bass box video. Paul's eating Sammy's. Hi, Paul. <laughs> That's his first bite halfway through the sandwich. Oh. You know, there's one person in this world I know that eats just like you do. My son? Well, two people in this world I know that eat just like you do. My daughter, Olivia does. Yeah. She'll be like, she's got like half a whole waffle, right? She goes like, munch, a little, little nibble, a little nibble, right? Second bite. Test the water. <laughs> <off>. <laughs> it's just all in. <laughs> I'm like, what the frick? Other than the fact that it's a choking hazard, it's hilarious. <laughs> Look at, look at this plethora of choices today. Bar, 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 bar. Super Mario fruit snacks. Bar. Bar. <laughs> I, um, these two out a little bit. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right, I'm gonna start scooting this coast. 
And I uh, got a couple options now. Got the old weightless tube. Weightless tube. Which actually looks pretty good just scooting through the water there. Yup. Yup. No! Dang, dude. Dang. On the tube. Friggin' third cast. Oh, man. I'm gonna get one. We're gonna get one. We're gonna knock out this hook. Man. That was sick. Got one. Popper. Oh, on the hook. The hook is done. Damn, man. It could have been me. <laughs> it could have been me. I was one cast away. <laughs> Sorry, Brett. <laughs> it could have been me. <laughs> Sorry, bruh. Look, not a giant, but hey, I told you, weightless Texas. Let's see. Yeah, had the craw. Dang, had him, guys. Had him and lost it. Choke. <laughs> Choked. <laughs> Choked. <laughs> a lot of pressure, man. Okay, that was a little high. And that ain't coming out of there. Without a little help. What an absolute cluster. Jeff just missed another one from the sounds of things. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right. Still want to knock this out, actually. Let's see here. Just letting it fall. Oh man, I just got hit again. Big hit. No, took my right off. Oh really? This, this guy almost took my tube. Man, that first one was a good one too, guys. Super sad about that. Yup, 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 yup. No. No. That was 110,000% of fish until it was a tree. <laughs> oh. You guys know what's up though. That was a fish. That was straight up a heckin' fish. Oh man. Had him. Had him. This freaking tube, man. Flipping under trees. Yep. Oh my gosh. Oh, these bastards. I'm actually kind of, we're only in four feet of water. It's like a fish not going to miss it. There, got him. Yep, knew it wasn't gonna miss it. What's up, boy? There he is. What is that, the second cast? <laughs> Got him. There's your Flora. There's your Katana. Knocked him out. And there goes the other, <laughs> there goes the other craw. <laughs> the claw. That's two claws I've lost on these things. They, you know, they float and that's great, but this thing just gets shredded. And I immediately get it hung up. Okay, and we're loose. And I chipped it. That sucks. Still in business. The slam is alive. And I'm gonna get it on uh, on some mono. Um, to let it whip. Lighter line though, six pound test. You can see how it's chipped. That means anything I catch on this trailer hook, which is probably the one that's gonna get got on, it, it could easily come off. You can see that it's kind of moving already. It's already come out, it's bent. It's not ideal for catching fish. A few of water. Yep, 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 yep. 
Got him. Got one. And we're back. And we're back. Oh, man. Woo! Okay. I remembered. I remembered how to catch fish. I did it. All right, we'll see you, buddy. Oh, Christy. All right, come on, little popper. We'll go around the front of this. It's all like within 10 feet of shore. Should be shallow cover and rock. And then there's a little back section back there that we could hit. Figure if we're gonna give these their due, that's the, the thing. Got one. Yep. Yep. How good does that bass hick skip though? Oh dude, I skipped the bass hick so hard it went up and got like under the initial branch and then caught on the backside of the tree. Cause it skipped so, cause it skipped so freaking high. I'm just wondering if these are just a little too loud. Which like just for the day. Like I'm wondering if I switch to the uh, like the my usual popper that has the popper R that has no uh, yeah. I wonder if I'd be hammering them. Cause all I'm saying is if you look at this dog walking I'm doing. I mean, bro, this dog is like straight. I should get paid for this. Is there an app for for how much of this? Look at this. I, I mean, I'd love to get that Patriot done, yeah. I'd love to just have a fish right now, though. <sighs> Too mad. I had a snack. Another, another snack. Nah, just, no, no amount of snacks could uh, salvage this, this right here. That is the ultimate weed of bass. <laughs> oh man, I would love to just have a fish right now. It'd be great. Is that like a dune buggy, but also the Batmobile? It's like a Corvette dune buggy. <laughs> <laughs> it's got one wheel in the back. What yeah. the frick? I'm pretty toast. I'm pretty toast today. This day beat me down. It took it took my soul, it took my dignity, it took everything I was worth. It was not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be one thing if like we didn't catch any fish. We definitely caught fish. Uh, we put uh, we put up numbers. You had six, seven, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So Paul saved the day. Helped me uh, knock out as many of these baits slash things in the box as possible. So we got the uh, we knocked out the katana hooks. Mm -hmm. We got the fluorocarbon line done. We got the popper done. We got the finesse frogs done. I got the Hendrix frog done. We got the uh, the what? The, the, the toad the, runner. The toad runner. We got the toad runner done. What else is there? Is that it? Just the patriot. Patriot. I think it was just a patriot. Yeah. Anyways, we knocked out everything in the box except for the patriot. But again, this isn't about like slamming, as we talked about. This is more about reviewing the baits. So, favorite bait of the day, go. The Z-Man toads. They're called frogs. Frogs. Oh, I keep saying that. Yeah. <laughs> like, you get the idea. The frogs. The frogs. Those are. Yeah. The I, frogs are pretty dope. Yeah. I didn't have any luck on them. I had a few blow-ups on them. Uh, the rigging is critical. Rigging. Well, the rigging and like the placement. Like I think mm -hmm. we we're just casting in different spots. Like you find the right spot for that, I think you'll you'll get blown oh, yeah. up on. Mm -hmm. So that was a good one. That was your favorite one of the day. I think so. Yeah. What was your least favorite of the day? You know, I'm. Don't point at that guy. I know he's on there right now. <laughs> uh, it's really hard because like all the it's a sweet bait, floral, but can I say the floral? The floral you could say. I'm the floral you could say. I, I will. You know the irony of it though. Like the only reason I'm upset about it is because upset. Upset is because it's top water box and floral doesn't really work that well for top water. So that's my yeah. only qualm. But I will say, what did the most work today was Weedless Texas. Oh yeah. Which the floral was money on. <laughs> 
it was money on. So, <laughs> so his least favorite, but he caught the most fish on Public it. Public apology to the fluorocarbon line. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> wow, that's hilarious. It is, the so, irony is not lost on me. Paul says sorry, Rick. Mm -hmm. uh, so my favorite for the day would be. I really liked the. I knew. I knew I was gonna like the Toad Runner. That was just a no-brainer. So I won't count that. That was. We'll just call it second favorite. But that Hendrix frog. The Hendrix frog was dope. Like it walked really well. You the, uh, did you have the brown? What did you, which one did you have? I had a black, but the same light belly. Same light belly. It's, it's just, it's a well made frog. It's little arms. Thanks. It's legit. Sweet. Yeah, these arms are. I love it. It's sweet. So I was really happy with that. Least favorite for me, I. It is hard. Because everything was good. Yeah, I really liked everything. So I guess least favorite for me is the, the thing I'm least proficient at, which is something I got better at today. But my least favorite's gotta be the Patriot, just because I don't know how to fish it. And you guys could be like, you don't know how to walk the dog? And I'll be like, yeah, I don't know how to walk the dog. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> of course I don't, I just don't do it. Uh, so topwater walking baits and stick baits is something I need to get better at. I can say- It's also kind of hard in a kayak. It, it is a little harder in a kayak for sure, like in a bass boat or a boat, like you're up a little bit higher above the water. It's hard to like keep the rod tip down and do like the proper motion for it in a kayak, I'll say that, but that's just an excuse. I just gotta get better. And I'll say I got better today. Start of the day, I couldn't do anything. End of the day, I started like getting a good rhythm with it and I was pretty happy with that. So least favorite, just cause I'm least proficient at it. Not that it's a bad bait, I think it's a great bait. Um, for a house bait, I think it was great. Oh, that, the picture It's a monster sweet. bass like, bait. I think it was I, sweet. I think I think the the quality is for sure there. The castability yeah. was there. I walked the crap out of it. Um, yeah, I walked the crap. We out walked of it everywhere, it. man. It was it's it's a sweet bait. It, I just suck at it. The pond that we had today that made it so hard. What you could tell right away was action. Yep. Uh, like big noisy action was not, not the order doing of the well. day. It was not the order of the day, and big noise especially was not. Yeah. And. The Patriot is big and noisy. It's yeah. got a big rattle, um, and and even the way that it kind of rocks because of, of how far the ball bearing travels, yep. you'll notice it sits like this when you stop. It's going up and down, and what that's doing is just making more noise, which is great. It's how it's supposed to work. If just, the fish want that. It just wasn't that today. Because everything we threw that was finessey like and, yeah. and subtle did much better. The weightless stuff worked really well when we were using the katana hooks. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, it's yeah. It was a subtle day. These guys were being picky today. It is what it is. At the end of the day, we got most of the baits in the box. Oh, the buzz bait was in the box. Oh, guys, the irony. Rip, uh, Rick. Can you send me more buzz baits? I lost two of them. Yeah, lost, in two casts, I lost two buzz baits. And, uh, what, I lost Paul's buzz bait. Three seconds. Four seconds. I said I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you want? I want another bus date. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Call Rick. <laughs> my bad. What more do you want from me? Whatever. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the content. Hopefully this is helpful for you. If you guys are getting a monster bass box or thinking about getting them, you know, the whole point of this was fish with the baits, show you how they work, show you what kind of action they have, maybe give you some tips. You know? Oh, you're gonna get some tips. There's some tips. You'll get some, you'll get some MF and tips. There's some MF and tips in there. So <laughs> hopefully that was helpful for you guys. If it was, be sure to subscribe. Smash that like button on this video. Ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more videos. Got a giveaway coming up at the end of the month. You're gonna wanna stay tuned Check for that. Podcast. Check out the podcast, the Burley Fishing Podcast, anywhere you listen to podcasts and on YouTube. So anything right. else? Any, any other shout outs? Any yeah, the one shout out is that Bass Hicks Popper. I may have destroyed it on the side of my boat. <laughs> I did, but that thing is sweet. And I'm a big, I'm a big popper. I'm like a, I'm a popper truther. Popper aficionado. It's a sweet popper. I like it a lot. Facts. It was really hard to pick, like something, like even a favorite or a not favorite. Like everything. Yeah. That was, I was very pleased. Overall, I'm super happy with the box, and hopefully you guys will be too. And if you want to check out your own, use code Save15 to, and, and my link in the description below to save 15 bucks off your first bass box you can still get this one yeah exactly yeah, cool so i mean it's it's still august so if you want a top water box it's not too late to hit top water case in point today. we hit top water today <laughs> so go get the box enjoy your top water and we'll see you guys out on the water